Ta-da! Look at that. Freshly shaved. So I'm here in uh, Columbus, Mississippi. I just scaled my load. The place where I picked up was kind of strange. You go to check in in the gate, and I got in the gate, but the truck in front of me wouldn't move for the longest time. So finally, he moved, and I get up there, and I find out that they only let three trucks in at a time, and I had to sit there. Well, other trucks are collecting behind me on the street and everything, so, but the lack of experience can make for a harder time. And, and perfect example is there was a Swift driver that was behind me and I told him what was going on. I told him that you couldn't check in until one of the trucks came out of the three docks. He didn't believe me. He, you know, he's, he spoke a foreign language, but he can understand my English well. So that was good. But he, all the questions he asked me was right there on a sign right in front of you, you know? So, um, so he goes to get on the phone to the receptionist who I've already annoyed because I, I didn't know quite what was going on. And she said exactly what I had told him. So anyways, all over the place are signs must have a clean trailer, must have a clean trailer. In fact, if your trailer is so dirty, they send you here where you have to have it washed. So he finally gets into the dock because he's after me. So like this is like an hour later. And they finally get to him and they tell him, your trailer's too dirty. And also you need a load strap. He didn't know what a load strap was. And so I just ran into him here at the truck stop and he's asking me, where do I go? What do I do? I'm like, well, go to this place and see if they'll, they'll watch you out. If not, you know, there's, you know, sweep it out here. So when he goes back, he's going to have to check in to a line that was like six trucks long when I left. And if he doesn't get in there quickly, he's not going to get loaded today. So his day is a lot different than mine in the sense that he was uninformed. Um, he's having trouble reading the signs. He's having trouble his surroundings. Meanwhile, I knew that I needed a clean trailer. Um, the only problem I had was checking in, which, you know, it was kind of abnormal to have to wait for a truck to come out as you go in. But, you know, I dealt with it and I was fine. I was loaded in 15 minutes. So, but anyways, it's 76 degrees here. And, uh, oh, you know, the whole point of that conversation um, is that to become an IC... You really want to spend a couple of years out here and get some experience with these places and kind of get to know everything because this guy is going to lose a day's miles, a day's worth of miles if he's being paid by the mile. And if you're an IC, that's a day's worth of revenue. So enough of that. 76 degrees here in Columbus, Mississippi. I'm sweating. So, and, um, you know, I thought I'd just do this quick video just to kind of reveal my face and... And I still got the long hair. Don't, nope, you know, I didn't cut that. But um, anyway, some people say I look more professional. Some people say I look more organized. So I'll probably keep it like this for a while. At any rate, um, I've got plenty of time to go north into the colder weather. I know at home it's going to drop from 60 degrees to 5 degrees all by today. So, um, but I'm heading towards St. Louis and uh, going to the yard there. So let's go trucking. See you guys next time.